The extraordinary event began at 3.48 p.m. and lasted an impressive 3 hours and 16 minutes, surpassing the previous record of 2 hours and 15 minutes. Participants engaged in a spirited clapping at varying intensities throughout the duration of the record-breaking event. To ensure the authenticity of the record, observers from the Uganda National Bureau of Standards and the Federation of Uganda Basketball Associations closely monitored the proceedings. The overflow of attendees was accommodated in designated areas. The main requirement was that the sound of the applause had to remain above 80 decibels and be the only sound generated throughout the event. <laughs> Astonishingly, the loudest decibels reached an ear-splitting 93.5, while the lowest was measured at 83.6 decibels. <laughs> Apostle Grace Lubega and his congregation were unwavering in their determination clapping non-stop for the entire duration of the record-breaking event. Remarkably, even when participants required refreshments, they signaled by raising their hands while continuing to clap, and volunteers provided them with drinks to sustain their energy. The occasion was not confined to Uganda alone. Numerous other manifest centers across Uganda, as well as countries like South Africa, Kenya, and the United Kingdom, joined in the Club for Jesus Guinness World Record attempt. These centers are affiliated with Faneru Ministries International and their support added to the significance of the global Thanksgiving campaign. As Faneru Ministries International celebrates its ninth anniversary this August, the Guinness World Record achievement stands as a testament to their dedication and unwavering faith under the guidance of Apostle Grace Lubega. We wanted to make sure that it would be so hard for the next person to set the record. That's why we set it at 3 hours and 16 minutes. Does this have something to do with John 316? Yes. Everything, to do John, uh, everything has to do with John 316 because I always tell people, like I said, YouTube is a secular platform, but we use it to preach the gospel. Facebook is a secular platform, but we use it to preach the gospel. Guinness Book of Records is a secular platform, but we can use that as well to preach the gospel. Because like I said, if somebody's reading through that and they see that the longest applause is in the name of Jesus, maybe somebody's convicted to find out who or why. Apostle Grace Lubega and Faneru Ministries International have marked their names in history, setting an inspiring example for believers around the world.